Did you ever see furniture that had no screws in it? You wondered how it was put together? You thought it was probably magic. It probably was magic. Or, today we'll tell you what that magic secret was. It's one of our new favorite tools. Do you like to do it, build it, make it? So do we. So get with us every Wednesday and Friday for new episodes. Click that like and subscribe button and tick that bell to be notified of our new episodes. Do you believe in magic? I, I don't. <laughs> I don't believe in magic. I believe in my new best friend, the Craig Jig. We've made several pieces of furniture at this point and following plans that we found here and there, what we found is the best tool to have is this Craig Jig. This Craig Jig is amazing. It puts together tabletops, uh, hidden corners, lots of different things. And so... Puts together shelves. We use them to hide the screws in the shelf so that the top of the shelf is nice and beautiful. And underneath the shelf is, is how we attached it. We use it to do corners. We used it like everything. Everything. Projects where it would say countersink a screw and then fill it in with putty. No, we, we use the pocket hole instead. We modified the plans to allow us to use a pocket hole. So it comes in the box. Craig Jig K4. Right? Craig hit Craig Pocket Hole Screw Kit. That's this. Oh, screw kit. Uh Craig Jig <coughs> Mini. Oh, this thing. It's like portable if you can't move the piece of furniture or the entire piece of furniture is still together and you just need to fix a pocket hole. Your mini. Little Craig Jig Mini. Never used it. <laughs> Stepped drill bit and stop collar. Oh, that's this piece, an essential piece. Uh, this is the bit that works with the Craig Jig. A uh, six inch square drive bit. Uh, this is how you put all the screws in. They all have that square head to it. Oh, and the long, the right. long shaft. We just went through this yesterday. <laughs> makes it so much easier to <laughs> get in that pocket hole. They come with a little one and this one sucks. <laughs> Doesn't. Uh, starter plug set. It did, did come with some little plugs. It plugs those pocket holes. It's like hair plugs for wood. Face clamp. I love this thing. I use this thing even when I'm not using the Craig jig. I use it to hold all kinds of wood together. It's a really nice quality yeah. clamp. Yeah, I love this jam. And I treat it like crap. <laughs> I've dropped it, thrown it. I've dropped it while I was holding wood together. It's okay. Portable base. Never used it. Again, it's for a piece of furniture that's already put together. You just need to do some repairs to it. So you got to clamp a base to it. Material support stop. That's if we were going to install this Craig jig permanent somewhere. It has holes so that you can install it permanently. Uh, we don't. We move it all around. She could be sanding and I'll be Craig jigging over there. We don't really use the material stop either. The dust collection attachment. Oh my God, this dust collection attachment is amazing. It fits in right back here and there's virtually no dust in the end. The problem with it is it had a tiny hole for your vacuum. Look at this thing. And we use a shop vac. So with a little bit of duct tape and a- Ingenuity. <laughs> and a Gatorade bottle, it completely fits our shop vac. It's snug right in there. So don't mind the duct tape, but this jam is a- uh, is great. Um, it sucks the dust out, so sometimes if I'm not using it, I have to plunge the drill bit in there a few times. But when I use this, it's clean and easy, in and out. Two tools, this helps you adjust the collar. We'll show you how to use that. So how to adjust your Craig jig? I got some samples here. There's a little measuring stick on the side. You're gonna do the width of your material. I'm using a two by four here, and we all know two by four isn't only two, it's one and a half. So we set the depth to one and a half inches. Put your little pin in the back. All right, so it holds it there and it keeps it steady. So there's a little collar on the drill bit. And you're gonna use your Allen wrench to move the collar. Do, 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 do. So again, we're at an inch and a half, so we set the depth of the collar with the little measurements on the side to an inch and a half. The material thickness, not the advertised thickness. So 
So our material is an inch and a half. I set it all the way down into the indentation of the drill bit to an inch and a half. And then I tightened the collar down. All right, you set it in there. You got this material holder, this clamp. You set the depth of the material till it's tight and taut. You got some holes here for guidance. It'll tell you which holes to use for which width of board. We're going to use holes A and C because it's a two by four, three and a half inches. Drill bit in. creates those two little holes. It's like a pocket. You put a dime in those little holes. <laughs> So now we have these pilot holes that are drilled in in that angle that will be able to slide the screw down in there. We'll take our six inch bit with the square tip. There you go. No screws coming through this side. Can't even see them. They're just sitting in a little teeny pocket. So cute. Wanna do the other side? Pretty sturdy, huh? It's just four screws in there. Not bad. They're nice and hidden. No fuss, no muss. I didn't have to come in and try to set a pilot hole. I didn't have to worry about splitting the wood. So these little jams slide up in the holes. Oh, we found out what this little mini does. This mini helps us put these little dowels in. Bam, look. Pretty hidden. Paint it, glue it, you wouldn't even know. If you plan on getting into furniture building or you plan on doing a lot of DIY stuff or even attaching boards, I suggest getting yourself a Craig jig. If not a Craig jig, something that would help you make pocket holes. And I love the pocket holes. I can't say enough about it. Uh, quality? Quality. Great. You know, it's molded plastic, but it's pretty durable plastic. Uh, if you watch my videos, I drop everything all the time. I know this thing has hit the ground at least a dozen times. Nothing to it. It's great. I'm not sponsored by Craig Jig, but if you guys want to hit me up, I don't mind free stuff. But I don't need another Craig Jig. This thing's lasted me. It's taken a beating and I plan on having it for a while longer, doing some more furniture with it. So tell us what your favorite tool is in the comments below. 